The idea of an indigenously designed and built light combat aircraft was first mooted way back in 1983. 30 years on, the fighter is still not part of the Indian Air Force, but took a step closer uh, with the second initial operational clearance being given after a flight uh, witnessed by the Defence Minister and the Chief of Air Staff in Bangalore. The final operational clearance is expected by the end of 2014 and Tejas should be part of the Air Force by 2015. There have been 2,450 sorties of this aircraft, including almost 500 this year alone. But this one was special. As the light combat aircraft Tejas took off from the HL airport in Bangalore city, it was making a point that the aircraft was ready for its second initial operation clearance. Well, over there, you have the... Of the light combat aircraft, when jets are actually flying at supersonic speed, it's very difficult to really hear what you're saying. But yes, this is a very important milestone in the development and induction of the light combat aircraft Tejas, which is, of course, India's indigenously designed and developed light combat aircraft. It's been a long time coming. It was in 1983 that the idea was first mooted, and there has been a lot of delays. During these years, there was Many occasions of frustration, setback, our own criticism, why this wasteful project to continue, it won't succeed. Abandon it, don't waste national money. Last seven years, I also had my share of criticism when I was taking this process. Now, he can declare, we are now nearing success. Not 100 percent, some more. <laughs> the air chief, who had expressed clear reservations about Tejas, at its first operational clearance flight back in 2011, said he was satisfied now that the aircraft would soon be ready for induction into the Indian Air Force. I mentioned 2011, there was a few things which, which we had to do. And to correct certain design changes, all that has been done now. So now we are very fully satisfied with the initial operation clearance. The supersonic fighter has been described as pilot friendly. It's a pleasure to fly. And I'm, I'm thrilled. This is, you know, so far we have been the only uh, organization to have flown this lovely machine. And uh, today we are going to dedicate it to the rest of the air warriors in this country. It is a day of pride for everyone involved in this design and production. And as the defense minister said, it has shown that India is capable of designing and developing its own fighter aircraft. With Govind Murthy, Maya Sharma in Bangalore for NDTV.